Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast! Dale, yeah. dale, dale. That's it. What up, y'all? It's your boy Switch. I'm here with your man Jimmy. I'm here with your man Jay. I'm here with your man Ant. And I'm here with a very, very special guest, AI from GOM, aka Josh's wife. Let's you already go. know. Who is, right? <laughs> y'all, how y'all that's doing? Right. Let's know. <laughs> right. That's right. What's going yeah. on, y'all? How was y'all weekend? Anything interesting popping Amazing. off? It was amazing, Indeed. man. Dodgers yeah. won. What you mean? Weekend came huh? and went. Who, who won? The Dodgers. L.A., man. L.A. stay winning, bro. Oh, LA. okay. Uh, okay. Y'all popping y'all college. Come yeah. on, man. Like, you know what I mean? All for Kobe, I'm acting huh? like I played. All <laughs> right. You ain't even watching. You acting like you're watching. You just looked at the specs. <laughs> you just said, oh, L.A. won. Hey, that joke came on my time. And I was like, all right, repost. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Yo, I'm, a, I'm an LA fan, so you know what I mean. They, you everything LA? Every yeah, everything. He wasn't rocking the Lakers though last week with her and all of them. Yeah, man. I was happy for the Lakers, man. You know, it's my city. You know? uh, you was like, nah, the Clippers. Nah, 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 yeah, your energy like was that. different last <laughs> week. Man. But it's cool, uh, man. Yeah. Nah, man. That's it, man. That's it. What'd you do this weekend? Me? Yeah, nah, you. you. Oh, I don't even remember what I did. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you backslide and drink and drink too much? Wow! Wow! <laughs> My goodness. What did I do? Um, <laughs> wow! Nothing. Wow. I, oh, you know what? I went. I went to Brooklyn. I went to your hey. hood, and your old, your old stomping grounds. I went to visit my in-laws. Uh, it was my father-in-law's birthday. So, mm. shout out to your father over there. Man. What yeah. part of Brooklyn? Uh, I don't even know. He's over there by off the the Jackie. What is it? The Jackie Robinson. The end. New York. The end of the, huh? That's East New York. Oh, is it East New York? That's the end of the Jackie Robinson. Yeah, he's right off of there. Unless you make a right and you go to Bushwick. Hmm. I, I don't, don't know. know. I'll be honest. He's on Atlantic. He's know. on. No, is it Atlantic? Because hey, when you continue to drive, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. He could be. Bro, I don't work in Brooklyn, man. I don't. I don't, <laughs> don't want to visit Brooklyn. <laughs> well, you was there. I apparently got drunk. Fortune. Wow, <laughs> the slander. I didn't even remember. Right, he don't remember. Uh, I didn't even have a drink. <laughs> Look at this guy. Like, I just got off the Jackie Robinson. That was you it. too. AI, you you getting into this thing? <laughs> <laughs> into the slander? Uh, I mean, you the one that started off like, oh, <laughs> right. uh, no, for nothing. I don't because I'm, I'm usually I know what I did, but I'm like, yo, what did I do? But yeah, yeah when that was sober. pretty much it. Pretty relaxed weekend. I didn't catch the fight. Did anybody catch the fight? I was watching UFC, man. I missed it. Oh, wow. It was dope. So you was in the perfect borough just for that fight, and you didn't even watch it. Mm -hmm. They should have kicked you out of Brooklyn. <laughs> wow. Just for that. Wow. You go to Brooklyn, don't even watch the fight and see them Brooklyn yeah, dudes I fight. got a target on my chest he today. He gets bullied every time he Yeah. <laughs> I got a target here today. And that's just now, he usually remembers what he did. Yeah. What you did? Oh, I watched the fight. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I ain't had nothing special going on. I chilled most of yesterday, but yeah, sadly I just watched the fight, man. It was a good fight. Some good How about you, AI? What did you do? Uh, Y'all don't even want to hear what what I did uh -oh. in my weekend. Uh -oh. My jam packed Busy? weekend full of stuff. Yeah. Just you know what? Honestly, I spent most of it in front of the computer editing stuff and photos, videos, and things like that. I didn't get a chance to watch no game and go to Brooklyn. Was I, was, <laughs> I was getting my JLB on. Like I was working. I had no time for that. And she remembered. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was getting my contractual agreements handled. That's what's right. A lot of people don't know that, right? Like you do uh, videography, right? Yes, I do. Yep. 
I yeah. do. Um, mostly for um, corp, you know, corporations and things like that. Like I have some, I have some clients that are like charter schools, mostly charter schools. And I've done some with the public schools. Mostly everything I do, it deals with young people in some mm-hmm. way, shape, or form. So That's yeah, a lot of that. You've done music videos as well, right? I have. You don't like it? Um, I'd prefer to to sit with the hat of like um a creative director. Mm. I prefer that because doing videos can be very tedious. And if I'm working on corporate videos and things like that, I don't have time to be putting together a music video. Right. Yeah. Because corporate videos, like let's be honest, that's gonna bring that's more revenue. Yep. And and um yeah, it's a whole different kind of bag. So I wanna make sure my mind is focused on something like that. That's going to get me, you know, get the income I need in. So I'll sit. And the as clients a, are different too, right? Say it again. The clients are different too. The clients are completely different. Like, I right? feel like rappers are way more demanding. Yes, they can be very demanding. They want a lot with a yeah. little. Right. You know, and I don't got time for that. Champagne taste no, with Kool-Aid funny. money. Is that, are you, shoot, are you shooting at Meech? <laughs> no, I'm not. I love, I just, Dang, don't be talking wow. like that. Don't you ever come up out your mouth saying I'm coming at my bro. Nah, she's nah. At me, she, me, she coming nah, at you. Nah, nice. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> if I was shooting at me, she'd know. I'll he just would. say it to his face. He Ooh. Would. He would. He nah, would. man, that's my bro. You see, so you, you see, you see AI in the chat. She ain't afraid of nobody. She'd be going back oh, and forth with everybody. Really. <laughs> Sometimes when yeah. I got time, yeah, 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 I pop in there and just come at people. <laughs> you know, I only, I only said I only said him because it looked like you and him be joking a lot. So I was like, "Yo, yeah, we do." <laughs> we do. You guys, you not not uh, you guys got a, a pretty big movement in Buffalo, right? Like I, yeah. I, I, I know you you, you rock with Meech, mm-hmm. you rock with Zadok. You know what I mean? And there's a couple of you who who've been uh, creating a pretty big movement out there, right? Zadok and yeah, yeah, Zadok. Um, my bro Wills, uh, Avery, uh, King Shot, Fonz Carter. Um, you could throw my hubby in there because he in the mix as well. Right. Um, yeah, I'd say it's a big family, you know, of supporting artists. Yo, like um, Fonz and Zayda got together. You know, honestly, it was like it was all these Christian hip hop artists who did their thing in their own little separate spaces. Right. And so we would always wind up coming to shows where we're all performing. And I think over time it was like, you know, Zadok and uh, Fonz had the idea like, yo, let's come together in some kind of way Mm -hmm. and um, got us all together. And we say, yeah, this makes sense. And I'm not talking like, oh, yay, we're going to support you. You go. That's what's up. No, I'm talking like we really was like digging in our pockets and um, like we're going to focus on Meech. We're going to focus on Doc. We're going to pay for the things he needs. And I think that 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 is what really helped us all to really push ourselves to another level. Whereas like I was I did music because I love music, period. It's an art form. It's a remedy. It's like my medicine. I love it. So um, I wasn't taking it serious in a sense of let me let me go into a career with this. But when it came to that group, it gave me another sense of like, oh, shoot, like this could be something. Right. And so I started digging into it more and having that support really developed and pushed me even more where I took it serious. And then over time, I looked at it like, oh, shoot, this is actually a business. This is not just like I'm a right. spit some bars, which, you know, I still right. feel the same about music. It's art, but it is a business at the same time, you right. know. And we still, to this day, support each other. Right. Now, y'all had a name, like, like right? Like, was it Rebel, Rebel against, against the World? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen I, that. I've seen. I, I, I talked to. I talked to Josh, and um, he was telling me how it, it went even beyond that because it was. It was. You guys were also about pushing the culture forward because you guys brought other CHH artists in. So yeah. it wasn't just about Yo. you guys, but you guys were bringing other people into 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 Buffalo as well, right? Absolutely. Like, um, you know, and that's a collaboration with not only Rebel Against the World or Zadok or these like minded individuals, but it was also our church. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, shout out to my pastor, Pastor Stephen Foreman and shout out to my church, Christ Crusaders Assembly. We're like this church with a little bit of members, but we got mad heart, you know, and um, 
And so we believed in the idea of pushing the culture of Christian hip hop further in educating people about that opportunity or about that space. And um, yeah, brought different artists in. Everybody put their money together, brought different artists in. Um, that's when we got to know Sela and got to know Ishan and um, Bumps and like, you know, I could just, it, mad artists, everybody from GOM practically came um, to Buffalo. And it, it was funny because everybody knew you're going to come to Buffalo. Mm -hmm. You're going to perform. That's what's right. up. And and earlier on, we would have these um, these events with the youth and the community earlier in the day. So you, you're going to say something to our young people. Then we're going to have fun at, at the concert. But then after that, we're going to go to the church and we're going to chop it up. And we're going to see what y'all got going on as far as doctrine is concerned. Right. And like, that was the most, that was the best part the best of it part, all. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, wow. Chopping it up eating some Lenovas and some chicken and just getting to know everybody and going back and forth and apologetics, just finding out where people sit with certain stuff. Yo, I used to get heated up in there. <laughs> get real heated. Ask anybody, yo, ask anybody. Wow. Wasn't playing games, man. True for the house over here at, um, um, Christ Crusaders assembly. That's what's up. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I think I think yeah, we need more of that. But that keeps like that a, a good yeah. accountability. Yep, you know that I mean? the artist too. Oh, so absolutely. That's, that's, yeah, that's we great. found out a lot of different things. Like, oh, oh, you just rap about these things. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yo, man. Oh, man. Yo, I miss it. I miss it, man. That was the best part of the whole night. Like, yeah, okay, that was cool. We had a great time at the concert. So, what you think about prosperity gospel? <laughs> mm. 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 She's sending shots at you, Switch. <laughs> Yo, you already know I'm down with TD Jakes and Kirk Franklin. Better have my offering. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think about speaking in tongues? Oh, yeah, Jimmy. She got you now. That's <laughs> got you now, huh? Yo, she came with that Griselda. Tulips. <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 you got you guys are getting um, a lot of recognition in the secular hip hop realm too, right? With Conway the Machine and and and, and Benny the Butcher Buffalo. and all these guys. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, they seem to it's be because uh, Buffalo full of dope, dope artists, man. Yeah, East Side is full it, of some dope. Um, and it seems like you guys connect a lot, like with each other, being that yeah. it's just a, it seems like a smaller circle, so it's easier to connect with artists. Unlike New York City, where it's like you got everybody rapping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it's a lot of different people with different styles and stuff like that um, here in our city. It's a lot of talent in, in various ways. You know, I, I don't know how much I know about me, but I'm I'm deep in the art world, like visual arts, you know, painting on canvas and stuff like that. Not that you, I, you, not you did. You did a show, right? You did yeah. a show where. Where, tell, tell them about that because I, I thought that was yeah. pretty dope. <clears throat> yeah. So what I uh, what I started was this um, event called um, Paint and Release Night, Blank Canvas Paint and Release Night, and um, the the show is it's surrounded by like a single from the project. You know, when I released Blank Canvas, I took a single off the project. I connected with a local artist in my you know obviously in my city. And um, he does paint and sip nights. So I said, let's revamp this idea and let's paint based off of this single. Let's paint something that deals with that topic. Because most of my music is, is conceptual. And so we paint based off of um, the topic and we would bring, I would bring in individuals who could speak about that topic. And of course, you know, I have a little concert where I'm performing live, but everybody there is painting um following the um the professional painter that owns the space and so everybody leaves with their own painting on canvas on canvas and they take it home and you know information about whatever we talked about and um just you know they get to know me they want to buy some merch they can but it's a really dope experience and so i took that and we made it virtual and so i just recently did a virtual one um back in august it was dope 
And it don't matter if you could paint or not. Like y'all all gonna be dope, right? Because <laughs> yeah. we got a good painter who um, can teach really well. That sounds dope. Yes, yeah, you, you also um, you also uh, teach classes, right? Like I know you did a workshop when you came out here to Cali. You did like an iPhone photography yeah. workshop, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm disappointed that I missed it. That's what I, I, I did. I was able to catch the show, but I was I, I didn't get to, to to go to that joint. But yeah, man, she she's out here doing it all. You man. said virtually? No, no that was that was before COVID. Cali. Oh, when I went to Cali. I set up something at a local spot. I think the shout out to Shannon. I was called. Um, I know, yo, Shannon is. Oh, she Shannon is the goat. She be working. Yeah. She yeah. be working, yo. But um, she was able to help me secure a spot in Cali to do um, my class. You know, I do like iPhone photography. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher at heart. I can teach anything. <laughs> like as long as I know the information um, and I, I make teaching as fun as possible, but as informative as possible and connected to a lot of stuff. But yeah, I taught the um, iPhone photography class. It was a hit. It was definitely dope. Um, that's my thing though. Wherever I go, I'm not I'm not just going to perform. I'm going to utilize all my skills because mm. I want to leave something there. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to. I I don't just want to be called back to perform. I want right. somebody to call me back to teach, um, to right. speak, to present, to work with your youth, to do a residency, to speak to your college students. Like I'm a multidisciplinary artist. So I'm using all of my skills to tap into all of the streams that I can. It's, it's not just rap. You know, how do you take that and chop it up and create other streams and avenues? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, I went to Cali. I was like, yeah, we about to teach. <laughs> I'm about to showcase my work. I'm about to do this. I'm gonna make some connections. So I know, you know, I can come back and do more. 